exhausted today. Oh, he's, uh, he's so sad. Can you hear that in the background? I do not know what is going on with Nate today. He's been so miserable all day and he's normally such a happy baby. Giving him some teething medication because I really do think he's struggling with his teeth at the moment. But he's just been up and down and up and down all day. He's not made it to being awake for more than an hour before he's been ready to go back to bed. Which means that someone else... Shep, come here. Come here. Which means that someone else, namely this guy, is really suffering, aren't you, bud? Shep, come here. Hi. Hi. Because we have not managed to get it out for a WALK yet. Have we? We're going to go soon, I promise. Meanwhile, I am absolutely exhausted because I've just been running up and down the stairs all day. I figured today I would start counting to see how many times I actually do it in a day. When I used to wear my Fitbit, I always knew how many flights I did. And since I've been wearing my watch instead, it doesn't count step, they're like flights, so I don't know. So today I've been manually tracking it, and so far I'm on 12 flights in not very many hours. Interested to see how many I do in a day. I think on average, I probably used to do about 20 flights of stairs a day. And that was pre-baby, like back on my Fitbit so about three years ago. Except that included three flights of stairs into work and at lunchtime. And they were big flights, they were probably more than just three flights. I'm not really sure. It'll be interesting to see, having just spent the day in the house, how many flights I actually manage. <sighs> I'm absolutely exhausted. There's something about a sad baby that it just tires you out. And it's not that I'm doing any more than normal. It's just emotionally exhausting. He's so sad. And he's not wailing. and he's not awful by any means. He's just sad. <sighs> Poor Bab. I'll show you in a minute. The moment he's supposed to be sleeping, so I can't take you in there. While I wait for Nate to have yet another sleep, I think I'm going to have a nice cup of tea and try and watch the end of Tenny Dreadful. I've been watching episode one now for about three weeks, and today I've been watching it all day. Well, it's since seven o'clock this morning, and I'm still only about 20 minutes in. So hopefully I'll get to finish that while he finishes off his nap. And then we'll take Shep. <laughs> sound a bit happier than you did when I put you down. Are you ready to take the doggy to the PARK? Shall we go? Yeah, what a good idea. Also, I do not know how you got this way around. You weren't this way around when I left you. Look at these little feet trying to escape out the bed. I see them. Nathan's toes. Are you vlogging? Now that you're awake, sleepyhead, it's time to go and find Sheppy to take him to the PARK. Wanna go for a walk? Let's go then! That might just have been Shep's very favourite walk for ages. He has had such a good time playing around. Can you Shep? Yeah? Guess it's true, you can teach an old dog new tricks. I kind of feel like Shep's been missing out on the vlog lately. I think we've neglected him a bit. So if you guys would be interested in hearing more about Shep, seeing more of him on the vlogs, leave us a comment, let us know, show Shep some love. Hey old guy. You might be a senior, but you can still play on the playground, eh? I'm gonna head home now because it's time to put little mister to bed and as it's Sunday tomorrow we're gonna see if we can drag Chris away from the day job and he can come out and play with us. This time